Alright, so SSB probably going as Marth, he usually does anymore. Um, Sam, always going Villager. <laughs> Except on the off chance that he goes Ganondorf, but he's always going Villager. <laughs> I don't know, man. I kind of want to see a Clash of Kings here. Um, I mean, the Hero King versus the King of Evil? Yeah. I'd be, I'd, I'd be okay with this. <laughs> but, no. No. A king versus a small child with... Uh, it's a king versus a mayor. It's clo A mayor is basically a king, just with uh, less gold. Uh, right? Um, and more bowling balls. Uh, something like that. We've got the Sandfish patented button check. Of course. And right now, he's just using it to beat up on a walking Marth. <laughs> Well, he's got his hand on his hip, like, you know, you don't know how sassy of a king I am. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's quite uh, a feminine, truly. <laughs> so, Lucina being the, man, the manlier Marth, of course. <laughs> so, I for one think this matchup is very far in Villager's favor. Oh, of course. Villager can outspace Marth and it's so good at gimping Marth off stage. So I feel like this is really going to be a hard one for SSB, especially considering I don't feel like his Marth is quite as polished as his other characters yet. So far though, he seems to be doing okay. Um, getting some offstage damage. Yeah, he's doing a good job with aggression. I don't see a whole lot of Marth playing that aggressively usually, but you know what, he's doing a good job with it. So You have not seen the Marth that I've been playing against today. <laughs> I mean, there's Majora. Yeah. <laughs> he's aggressive. <laughs> Just usually Marths tend to get better results being more defensive. And they're this bait and punish character at the at its core, but there's people who just do really well playing aggressive and apparently SSB is gonna be one of those people. But S Sandfish SSB committed a little bit too much to that dancing blade and got hit by a Lloyd. Yeah. Sandfish bringing it back now. It's in the lead to the lead, so So pretty close though. I wouldn't say any uh yeah. anything for sure. Especially considering Usually, Marth kills earlier. <laughs> Unless, you know, Villager gets a random read with a bowling ball. <laughs> so, SSB keeps wanting to punish these Lloyd Rockets, but yeah. gets hit by them instead. It's a little bit unfortunate. I mean, he's doing the right thing. It's hard to time that right, but you are supposed to just kind of run in and get in before the hitbox comes Ooh, out. Ooh, the but triple he, turnip up there. Oh. I swear, Villager mains. They get that when they need it, and no other time. It's, li it's like Luigi... Uh, Misfire, right? Yeah, exactly. It's like, you can't get it yourself unless you're a villager. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, okay, nice jab from Sam, really pressuring him to stay in shield or drop it and get hit, but also good patience from SSB just not dropping it. SSB <laughs> mm. getting the spike. Not quite enough to uh, spike upwards, though. Yeah. Into the blast zone. And honestly, Mars Spike is a pretty weak spike. It's so hard to hit, and it's a really not a whole lot of reward. So, I don't know. Worst spike in the game, probably. <laughs> if Little Mac. Little Mac has a spike? Yes. Okay. I have killed people with Little Mac's spike. Okay. <laughs> Mostly Link. <laughs> um, okay. Anyway. Yeah, at this point, it looks like Samfish is just kind of starting to run away with it. And yep, throw. Nope, not quite uh, gonna take it. Needs a little more rage or damage. Probably another 10% though. What yeah. that happened? Ooh, oh, good oh! attack! That was an and he can make it to the other side easily because Villager gets hit by the Lloyd, but he also sends Sam into the air. Sam looking like he's about to fall off, but. Yeah, okay. There we go. Yeah. Up throw from Marth. Finally killing. So, at this point, trades are in Sam's favor. And it looks like he's just looking for save damage right now anyway. Um, SSB continuously just trying to push Villager off the edge, which is a good option, but he's not really chasing Villager, which I feel like that's where Marth really excels with edge play. You want to go off and chase them, I think. SSB is making sure to uh, just chop down that tree himself before Villager can use it. Yeah. I mean... If he gets hit by that, at this point, he's dead. Ooh, the, just barely snapped a ledge before that bowling ball got him. No, the bowling ball would have hit him, but it was armor, I think. It looked like armor frames to me, because there are armor frames on his up B. Are there? I didn't... Oh, another oh, good tech. tech. At, at, <laughs> at this point, either one of them can just die. Either one of them can die right now. Sam is on point with the bottom of the stage techs. Yep. Ooh, back oh. at going to take the game one. I feel like that was just barely enough percent to kill. Mm -hmm. 
because he was slowing down. Yeah, it was it was close. So, what do you think SSB needs to change to beat Villager here? No, I'd say it was a good change right there. Ah! <laughs> yeah, I'll do it. Like, if there's somebody setting up a tent outside your house, just build a brick wall in front of them. You know? <laughs> Fair enough. Honestly, I feel like Olimar does okay against Villager, can just really space him out and d plays Villager's game better than Villager does. Yeah. There um, are things that Villager is better at, but the neutral, Olimar just wins it in this matchup. Um, Olimar has that unique trait of having projectiles that can't be pocketed as well. Never mind, I stand yeah, corrected. I, I thought they could be pocketed. I was like, Apparently they can, I was wrong. Yeah. I just watched it happen. Yeah, that's, keeps that's doing weird. it. That's weird to me, for some reason. Like, I wouldn't think that you could pocket Pikmin. Well, I mean, you can pocket a lot of things that you shouldn't be able to pocket, so... I'm now I'm curious if the pocket follows the same rules as Reflectors do. I think so. Because Reflectors um, can reflect Olimar's forward smash, right? Yeah. Um, I so think so. I'm, I'm curious how that would act with the pocket. Um, I think you can pocket it and send it back. I'm not entirely sure, though. But would it count as just thrown, or would it, like, have forward smash values? I think it would have forward smash values. That's so crazy. <laughs> yeah, granted, he has to do it within 15 seconds before pocket resets. Isn't it's, that right? It's, 50, it's 30 seconds. It's 30 seconds. Okay, because what was 15. Either way. Unless they nerfed it, but back when I used to attempt to main villager. Ooh, oh, bowling ball. Gotta take the first stock. And roll read. Alright. White Pikmin being sacrificed to the, uh... <laughs> oh, wait, that's what you mean. Still being sacrificed to the Great Tree. Mm -hmm. Sandfish doing a really good job just not letting himself take too much damage from these Pikmin. Does his last stock, uh... Uh, SSB has not been taking all that much himself. Yeah. If he can get a grab of the blue Pikmin, that would probably be it. Right now, both of them just trying to play as safe as they can, just rack up... I mean, Olimar's looking for safe kill options, but and obviously those are hard to come by. Uh, the villager Ooh, just safe forward smash but, from Red Pikmin. Yep, that will definitely take it. So now, I mean, Drew is playing this right. Just stay away. Try to predict when he'll be uh, trying to pocket the Pikmin, and that white Pikmin was just on him for a while. Yeah, I got 35 percent. That is. That's a lot. This early in his stock. Tree. I think. Did he? I think that Sam just used the tree to kill both the Pikmin that were on him instantly. Um. That. I think makes sense. Because SSP was nowhere near him, and he had two Pikmin on him, and they just died from that. So. Yeah. Although that would be better if SSP was near him, because then he could just go in on SSP. It definitely would have been better, but um, you know, Sam's priority is just don't take damage. Yep. Not really doing a whole lot to get those white Pikmin off specifically. Ooh. I see a lot of people just panic when they get the white Pikmin, Pikmin attached to them, but Sam is just kind of doing what his normal thing anyway. I think to some level that's what you need to do, but with white Pikmin, they do so much damage. Yeah. Alright. A so, purple Pikmin forward smash might be doing it. It looks like Sam or SSP is going for it. Yeah, he's fishing for options right now. I don't think there's a whole lot of things that would actually kill, but, I mean... Forward smash is purple, sure. Yeah, probably. Uh, I mean, we're getting to that point with, I think it's the up throw with the blue Pikmin. Yeah. Though it kills really early, too. But he doesn't have a blue Pikmin right now. So... Ooh. That was... That was dicey right there. Yep. Alright. Sam just looking to get a little more damage before he can start with his... Ooh, another roll read. Never mind. He got his kill option. <laughs> So, good set to Sam. Yep. Good luck to both of you. Alright. It's probably going to be, it looks like it's going to be Sam and Jesus next, if I'm not wrong. That makes sense. Has Jesus just been playing Charizard all day? Yeah, he's been playing just Charizard. I mean, I'm okay with this, because I love Charizard, but... <laughs> I, I, I have no idea about any of his matchups, except for, like, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Charizard just wins every matchup, don't you know? He's secretly the best character. Okay, I think Charizard's underrated, but that is not where I think he is. 